You don't have to go on an expedition to the Amazon to have an adventure because you can easily explore the unknown in your home by trying a new recipe or two. An adventure is always more fun when it's shared with someone special and taking inspiration from Mother's Day, who could be a better guy than our celebrity chef and mom, Yudhika. My kids love treating me to a special meal on Mother's Day. The trouble is they love to cook and I hate cleaning the kitchen after them. This time I'm treating them to some of their favourites. Spicy baked fish, eggy Indian fried rice and for dessert a chocolate pecan slice. I'm starting out with the fish and for that sunflower oil into the pan. And next, onions. I finally chopped these onions. My kids are quite fussy sometimes, especially with onions. To this add salt, about a teaspoon going in, and now add some curry leaves and some green chilli. I'd say about one green and one red. Just slip them in half. Once the onions are light golden, next add garlic. Fry off the garlic till fragrant, and now red chilli powder, about three teaspoons. Stir that through for a few seconds. And now chop tomatoes. The riper the tomato, the better the flavour. Spice up this tomato. We've got cumin, coriander and a pinch of garam masala. Pinch of garam masala and some turmeric. It's Mother's Day, I'm trying to make everyone happy and this curry is a cross between an Indian and a Thai dish. So now, coconut milk going in and then some recruit lime leaves. Quite easily available, don't want to cook this down for too long. In goes the fish. I'm using lime fish for this, but if you can't get really good lime fish, cake will work quite well. Scoop some sauce over the fish. Bake this off in a preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, for about 10 minutes. Let's start with the eggy Indian fried rice. This is really simple to make. And I've already got the pan on here and I've already greased it as well. I've just used non-stick spray so the egg doesn't stick. And sunflower oil. To this, some cumin seeds. Once those start to sizzle, add some sliced onion. Sprinkle in some salt. Fry off the onion until light golden in colour. The onions are ready. Garlic. I've got about two to three cloves of garlic here. Green chilli. And some frozen peas. Mix that through lightly. Frozen peas cook really quickly. I'd say about two to three minutes. I'm going to drop them into the rice. And now heat up a little more oil. I'm using the same pan. Got eight eggs here. Use a whisk and beat them together. Season the eggs with salt. Some red chilli powder. Cumin and coriander. A pinch of turmeric. This reminds me of my mum's egg chutney. Work the spices in and pour the egg into a hot pan. Scrape the pan just to prevent the egg from burning. And while the eggs are still soft, in goes the rice with the peas. And I'm using cold rice for this recipe. If you use hot, fresh rice, it seems to get quite sticky. Gently stir the rice into the egg. The rice is heated through. Season with some black pepper. And lastly, some spring onion going in. I've got a combination of red spring onion and the normal variety. Just before serving, garnish with fresh coriander. For the pecan chocolate slice, I'm starting out with the base. And for that, I've got some melted butter here. In goes some flour. Some sugar as well. And pecan nuts. About 200 grams of pecan nuts. Work those ingredients together. It's a lot like making a shoe pastry. That feels right. I've got a greased pie dish here with a loose bottom, about 25 centimetres. 
it's always advisable to work with this mixture while it's still warm and just crumble the mixture into the base. Try to even it out as well. And gently press down. This is now ready for the oven. Bake it off at 170 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes until it's golden brown and slightly crisp. And now for the filling. I'm actually not sure if it's a filling or a topping, but I think it's a bit of both. First, a little clean up. First ingredient going into the pot, some cocoa powder. This is a chocolatey custard. And then flour corn flour and sugar. Using a whisk, work those ingredients together. Just break down the little lumps in the cocoa powder and if they are, I need the sugar as well. Now add some milk. Just little bits and whisk in between. Make sure you scrape the bottom of the pan don't want the milk sticking. Now the remaining milk. And to this, just for a bit of richness, fresh cream. Keep whisking. If you don't want to use fresh cream, you can just use full cream milk instead. While that's warming up, let's separate three eggs. You just need the yolks for this recipe. I'm using large eggs. Let's have a look at that liquid. This liquid is thickening. It looks like the most decadent chocolate sauce. They use the same whisk to lightly beat the eggs. Now pour some of the hot liquid into the egg yolk. Don't add the egg yolk to the hot liquid because it will curdle. Work those ingredients together and pour it back into the pot. And lightly whisk. The custard is now thick. Last ingredients, butter and vanilla paste going in. Cover the custard on the surface with a layer of cling film. This prevents the skin from forming and leave it to cool down to room temperature. Once it's at room temperature, refrigerate until it sets and until it's properly chilled. Now it's time to assemble the pecan slice. Got the custard here, it's chilled down. It's always advisable to make this at least a day in advance. Just lift up the cling film, and that's what it looks like. Scoop some of the custard onto the pecan nut base. It is a bit messy, you do get some chocolate that drizzles down the sides of the bowl. Spread that over the base. And now I've got some sweetened whipped mascarpone that goes on top. Little scoops of mascarpone going on top and I've sweetened this with a touch of sugar and then added some vanilla paste as well. Just spread the cream over. A little of chocolate does come through. It's going to give it a marbled effect and drizzle with some chocolate sauce. this until it sets. I've kept it quite simple today in the kitchen with my Mother's Day menu. I've done all the cooking, so I think it's only fair that the kids do the washing up. Oh, oh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs>